Right, so as an SEO, so as someone that's trying to rank sites on Google, one thing that has always been a pain in the butt for me is linking, right? So I write pieces of content, right? Whether you use AI or just write them manually, it doesn't really matter, right? But the biggest pain point is in one article that you, that you write, right, has a bunch of content right here, is knowing where to link out to both internally and also externally, right? Because with SEO, on page, there's a bunch of stuff, right? But two things you need to focus on is internal links and external links. Internal links, because if you end up building links, right, backlinks, right, let's say you have a backlink from Forbes to your blog post, your site, right? You want that link juice from Forbes to flow through this article, right, and go to the other pages that this article links to. So this article will link out to other blog posts of yours, right? They are related, of course, right? These are all related, right? So if this is a blog post about dogs, right, this should be about leashes, it should be about um, safety, and this should be about uh, bathing dogs, whatever, right? These all need to, all need to, all need to be related, sorry. The reason why you want this main article to interlink to all these ones is sort of link juice from Forbes to pass through these internal pages, right? That's why you should interlink your sites internally, right? Your pages, sorry. And this should interlink. And again, you shouldn't do internal links randomly. You should only do internal links in a way that makes sense. None of these should be random, right? Not the pages you link out to, not even the anchor text, right? This all needs to be done properly. And that's the pain in the ass, right? Because you got to read through it all. You got to make sure it makes sense. And yeah, it sucks. That's the internal link part. Then the external linking part is where you, of course, link out to, instead of your article, the article, sorry, there's links, right? Where you link out to external sources to make your claims or to make sure that this article that you've just written is supported by some evidence. For example, let's say this is an article about uh, a type of medicine, whatever, right? You talk about st stuff and you link out to, for example, Wikipedia. You link out to WebMD, right? You link out to all these authority publications in your niche to up the relevancy, quote unquote, up the relevancy of this article because now Google, when it's reading it, knows that you've linked out to the proper sources in all authority sources, sites, sorry. Hopefully this is making sense, right? The internal linking and the external linking, right? But this um, is hard, right? Because after you write the whole article, again, you have to skim through it and find, okay, where's the best place that I can add these links to, right? When you, when you find a place, when you find a paragraph, right? You have to find the best anchor text, right? Because the anchor text is the little, the little text you click to go out to the other site, right? You have to find the best anchor text. Because again, none of this is random. Right? You shouldn't do this randomly. You should put some thought into this, right? And once you do it, of course, once you find a paragraph, once you find the anchor, you have to go out and find the link you're going to link out to. Maybe you even do it the other, the other way around, right? You go, you go out and find a list of links you want to link out to to support your article that you've just written. Then you read through your article and find the best paragraphs and anchor text to place these links in, right? You got to do this twice first for the external links and then for the internal links. And this takes a lot of time, but it's super, super important, right? Because that's how you build authority, right? That's how you, you build this silo so that the link juice flows through. That's how you make sure that Google knows that you're an authority in your niche because you also recommend and have links to other sources, other, other authority sources in your niche, right? It's all a big bubble, right? And that's how you write a proper article, right? Uh, of course, you have the images in the article, you have the videos, you have the tables, bullets, quotes, the info as well, tables of contents, but also you have to have links both internal and external, right? But again, this is a pain in the ass it takes so long. And with AI, and you, 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 don't, you don't even have to use my tool, right? I'm going to tell you how you can use ChatGPT to do it even, right? But with AI, right, and I'll show you how in a second, right? Before, let's call, and I often give this analogy right here, but let's call here success, right? So call success money, and it's where you have your article, right, all written, right, with a featured image, a table of contents, proper content structure with in-article images, in-article videos, bullets, tables, quotes, internal links, external links, all this stuff right here, right? And previously, without AI, you had to first do the keyword research, right? Figure out, okay, what I'm going to write, what, what am I going to write about, right? Take a look at the competition and see, okay, what are these guys writing about and what can I write about based on their keywords? So I'll do all the keyword research, which could be a video on its own, which I actually have on the channel, right? Do that first step. Then you have to go out and actually write the article, right? Then you're going to have to source the images, figure out the best videos to add, right? And then, of course, for the internal links and external links, figure out okay where I'm gonna where I'm gonna where am I gonna link out to, both for the home, for the internal and external. Then choose the anchors. Then choose the best place to add. So there's all of these steps. Now with AI technology, with the AI as a technology, because you got to think about AI as a as a tool, right? As a, like a wrench that you can use and leverage to go further. You can skip all these steps because AI does all of this for you on autopilot. Again, you can use ChatGPT or this tool. I mean, this is paid. ChatGPT is free, so you can use even use ChatGPT. 
But my whole point is not to try and sell you a tool, it's to show you that AI is this tool, right? This tool that you should leverage to go further and faster because if you're not doing it, right? If you don't leverage AI as a tool, your competitors will, right? And you're gonna skip ahead while you're doing all this step by step by step by step. Because now with AI, you can have articles like this one, right? This is all done with AI, right? The featured image, the proper content structure with the key takeaways, internal links, external links, even in article videos that are relevant to what the content is about, links to other posts, to other authoritative source, all this again done with AI, right? And yeah, I could have written this manually or I could just have done what I did, which is have AI write all this and then I'll revise it manually, right? I revise the AI content as myself, as a human. And that's what I'm saying when I, I, I tell you that I can speak, uh, skip ahead of the line, right? I'm not skipping to success, but I'm skipping maybe to this step right here, right? And then I'll revise it manually and do some changes myself and it's ready to go, right? And if, because I'm doing this, I get to skip ahead of the line and I get to skip ahead of the people that are doing all this manually, right? But one thing I want to show you is this right here, the, the internal and external linking part, because it takes so much time. And with AI, you can do it automatically, right? Just go here, try journalist.com, it's super cheap. Uh, scroll down to build links, right? Once you connect your site, which I won't show you right now, but you just connect your site as such, and it's going to analyze all the blog posts in my site, in this one right here, connect.co, right? And here, all these ones are all the posts I have, right? I can open them here. I can just skim through them, right? I can open them and skim, skim, skim through all this, right? These are all done with AI, by the way. And let's say I choose this one, right? Golden Retriever Grooming uh, one on. Let's go, let me just choose this one right here, right? How to groom a Golden Retriever, which is this one right here. Oh, actually, it's, uh, sorry, let me just choose the other one, sorry. This one right here, right? I click Analyze, right? What the AI is going to do, it's going to build links for me. But first, it's going to analyze this whole blog post, actually this one, it's going to analyze all these blog posts and recommend to me the best places where I can add in, uh, links to. In this case, just external, but we're going to be adding soon internal and a bunch more stuff. So again, the AI is reading through all of my article for me and it gives me, in this case, it gave me two suggestions where I can add links to. For example, this one is for the anchor text grooming techniques. I can go here and just do control, control F right here to find the anchor right here, grooming techniques, right? Right here, there's, there's no link here, right? There's no link there. So I can just go here and see the suggestions it gives me, right? And all these are tailored. Remember I said that the links to link out to need to be relevant, right? We're not gonna be linking out to just some random stuff, right? So this article talks about grooming of golden retrievers. This anchor text talks about grooming techniques. It is within a sentence where the context is the grooming of the dog, right? So the links, it suggests me that I link out to are related to grooming, as you see here, and I can open them, right? I can open them here. Right, and this article is from an authoritative publication on how to groom a golden retriever to keep them healthy. Right, and again, all this is relevant content, so I can just go here, select this, click apply links, and now when I go here and refresh this, as you see, now there's a link here. Right, there link that links out the page. Right? So again, I can go here and I can use and leverage this AI and connect. I can connect as many sites as I want, and I can have the AI analyze every single post on my site and give me these recommendations. Right, and this works for any niche, any site, anywhere. Right, I can do this a hundred thousand times. Now this is manually and it only works for external links, so only for this side, the external. But soon you'll be able to put this on autopilot, running in the back, and it does all this for you on autopilot. So let's say you have some old articles you've written like two years ago. You get the AI to analyze it and update links automatically for you. So it gives you the, the old article, article story a bit more relevancy, a bit more freshness, which is pretty cool. Again, it's just now for external, but it's gonna be for internal. So now, if you don't, don't wanna pay for this tool, right? don't wanna do this, you can also use ChatGPT. So let me show you how you can do this for free, because again, you don't have to use this, use this paid tool, you can just do it for free with ChatGPT. So go here, right? There we go, I'm just gonna copy this article right here. I'm gonna paste it in here and tell him, uh, read through, read through this article, and then recommend me three places where I can add a link to an authoritative, authoritative source, i.e an external link. Now you can play around with this. I mean, different prompts will give you different results. Recommend three. Give me a list of the anchor text you choose and the respective external link I should be linking out to. Now it's gonna take a while because it's gonna browse the internet, but essentially just giving it this prompt, it will give you what you need. Now it is manually, manual, sorry, and with, that, with this AI, it does it automatically for you, but you can do it for free with, with this, right? So let's see here, for example, to enhance, okay. 
Okay, so it gave me this right here as an anchor, I think. Do I have this here? Let me see. That's the issue with, okay, I do have it here, right? History, I know, but yeah, okay, I have it here. History of the Golden Retriever. So, okay, this, that's fine. And it suggested me this, right? Let's see if it is a good link to Link Cat 2. I should be able to click this. Not sure where I'm, let me just refresh this real quick. Um, but again, it takes a bit more time. Yeah, I'm not able to click this, unsure why, but you get my point, right? You can do this manually with ChatGPT, or you can just have AI do it all, you, all for you automatically. Again, I'm not trying to sell you this tool, I just want to show you that you can do it both in a paid way, which is, tends to be faster, or free with ChatGPT. But the whole point of this is to have you, um, don't do this manually, right? Just do it automatically. And the good thing about it is that this works for new articles that you have just now writing and don't wanna, you, you've written the article and you, you, you don't want to, sorry, uh, have to worry about blinking, you do this, right? But also for old articles that have old links, you can use this tool to update those old links with fresh new sources, which is pretty cool. And by the way, since you're here, I mean, if you've watched uh, over 10 minutes of this video, this little tool right here does a bunch of cool stuff, right? Other than this build links feature, right? You can connect this to um, your uh, WordPress. I mean, you can connect this with anything. Really. You can connect this with WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, or Webflow Blogger. And you can have this AI, when it's connected to your site, right? It can generate and plus post content for you on autopilot to your site. So if I go here to uh, autoblogs, new autoblog, and I can have this posting however many articles I want, right? Let's say five articles every uh, every week, right? Okay. Can, you can do even month, week, day, 12 or six hours, but I usually do week and you create a new autoblog and every week, right? Monday through Friday, this AI is gonna be publishing to my blog five articles. So generating plus publishing. And again, all these articles right here, if you open this up, if we expand on these ones, they're all gonna have a featured image, a table of contents, proper content structure with in-article images, in-article videos, bullets, tables, quotes, internal links. So these articles will link between each other automatically. External links, a bunch more stuff, right? Uh, on top of that, it also does the cure research for you. So you go here to cure monitors, you just add in your site as such, add your site, add your language, add, add your target country, and it will give you a bunch of keywords that you should be, or you could target, right? With decent search volumes and low difficulty. And you can have the AI produce content based on these keywords. Now, on top of that, once the content is published, you can automatically syndicate it to social media. So just connect your Facebook or Twitter. You can even collect LinkedIn and Pinterest in a, in a few weeks. But you can have it so as soon as an article, right, is published from the AI, and I'll show you here how that works, from the AI to your blog, right? It's automatically syndicated to your social media platforms. So just open this right here. This is the diagram right here. So from the AI to your site as such, right? All these individual articles posted automatically. All of them are feature rich with images, links, bullet saves, all this. And once it's published, it's automatically syndicated to your social media uh, platforms. Now, on top of that, you can also set up an indexer so that the content is automatically indexed in Google, right? So this tool does that and a couple more stuff. Um, but the whole goal of this video is to show you how this feature works. But since you're here, I might as well show you the rest. But yeah, pretty cool feature. So you don't have to do this manually. Think about this this little analogy, right? Think about this analogy because you don't want to be the guy that's going step by step by step. If there's this new technology with AI that's being applied to not just SEO and marketing, but the whole world, you got to make sure you think about it as a tool and leverage it. Because if you don't leverage it, other people will. And you're going to be stuck going step by step by step. While others are going to just skip ahead of the line and outdo you. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, comment down below some video ideas because I'm getting... Uh, I don't have many ideas right now. That's why I'm just uh, doing AI-based stuff, which I really enjoy, actually. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.